ARP spoofing attack ARP packet can be forked into the send data to the attacker's machine ARP spoofing involves constructing many fork ARP requests and reply packet to overload the switch the switch is set in the following mode after the ARP table is flooded with the spoof ARP reply an attacker can then sniff all the network packet attacker flood a target computer ARP cache with a fork entry which is also known as poisoning the example of ARP spoofing work Mac spoofing or duplicating a Mac duplicating attack is launched by sniffing a network for Mac address of client who actively associate with a switch port and reusing one of those address by listening to the traffic on the network a malicious user can interrupt and use legitimate user Mac address to receive the all the traffic destined for the user this attack allows the attacker to gain access to the network and take over someone's identity to the network. This example of Mac spoofing. Mac spoofing technique. This example of the Mac spoofing technique based on Windows. This is another Mac spoofing technique for the Windows. This is a Mac spoofing tool we have SMMC Mac address changer change Mac address easy Mac changer and spoof me now IRDP spoofing ICMP router discovery protocol IRDP is routing protocol that allow a host to discover IP address of active router on their subnet by listening to router advertisement and soliciting messages on their network the attacker send a spoof RDP router advertisement message to the host on the subnet, causing it to change its default router to whatever the attackers choose. This attack allows the attacker to sniff the traffic and collect valuable information from the packet. Attacker can use IRDP spoof to go launch, man in the the net of service and passive sniffing attack, the example of IRDP spoofing. Villain hopping. Villain hopping is technique used to target network resource present on virtual LAN. It can be performed by using two preliminary methods, switch spoofing and double tagging. Attacker perform villain hopping attack to steal sensitive information such as passwords, modify, corrupt or delete data. Install malicious code or program or spread virus. Trojan warp and throughout the network. For the switch spoofing, attacker connect route traffic onto the network by tricking a legitimate switch and thereby creating a trunk link between them. Double tagging, attacker add or modify tag in an internet frame, thereby allowing the flow of traffic through any VLAN in the network. STP attack, attacker connect rock switch into the network to chain operation of the STP protocol and sniff all the network traffic. Attacker configure the rock switch such that its priority is less than that of any other switch in the network which make it the root bridge thus allowing attacker to sniff all the traffic flowing in the network. This example of STP attack. How to defend against VLAN hopping? Defend against switch spoofing? SPC configure the port as SS port and ensure that all SS port are configured not negotiate trunk. Ensure that all trunk port are configured not to negotiate trunk. Defend again double tagging. Ensure that its SS port is assigned with VLAN except default VLAN. Ensure that native VLAN on the trunk port are chained to the unused VLAN ID. Ensure that the native VLAN on the all trunk port are SPCT attack DNS poisoning technique DNS poisoning is a technique that trick DNS server into believing that it has received authentic information when it has not received any it results in the substitution of false IP address at the DNS level where the web address are converted into numeric IP address it allows the attacker to replace IP entry, address entry for the target site on the given DNS server with the IP address of the server he or she control. The attacker can create fake DNS entry for the server with name similar to that of the target server. This example DNS poisoning technique. 
intranet DNS proofing this is, in this technique the attacker system must be connected to the local area network and be able to sniff a packet it's work well against Swiss with ARP poisoning routing this sample for intranet DNS proofing internet DNS spoofing internet DNS spoofing the attacker in fact join machine with a trojan and chain his DNS IP address to that of the attacker this example of DNS spoofing proxy server DNS poisoning attacker send trojan to the join machine that chain is proxy server setting in internet explorer to the of to that of attacker and redirect to the fake website this example for DNS poisoning DNS case poisoning DNS case poisoning refer to altering ending for DNS record into DNS resolver case so that DNS query is redirect to a malicious site if DNS resolver cannot validate that the DNS response has been received from the alternative source it will cache the incorrect entry locally and serve them to user to make a similar request this example for the case poisoning How to defend against DNS spoofing? Implement domain name system security extension. Use secure socket layer. Resolve DNS query to the local DNS server. Block DNS request from send to external server. Configure firewall to restrict external DNS lookup. Implement intrusion detection system and deploy it correctly. Configure DNS resolver to use a new random source port for its outgoing query or restrict DNS re requesting service either fully or partially to authorized user. Use DNS existing domain, secure your internal machine, use a static ERP and IP table, use secure shell encryption, do not allow outgoing traffic to use UDP port 53 as the default source port. Audit DNS server regularly to remove vulnerability. Display filter in Wisha. Display filter are used to change a view of packet in the captures file. The example you can use for display filtering by protocol, monitoring the specific port, filtering by multiple IP address, filtering by IP address, and other filter. How to defend against sniffing? Restrict physical access to the network media to ensure the packet sniffer cannot be installed. Use end-to-end -end encryption to protect confidential information. Permanently add a MAC address of the gateway to the ERP cache. Use static IP address and ERP table to prevent attacker from adding spoof ERP entry formation in the network. Turn off network identification broadcast and if possible, restrict the network to authorize user to protect the network from being discovered with sniffing tool. Use IPv6 instead of IPv4 protocol. Use encrypt session such as SSH instead of tenant, secure copy instead of FTP, and SSL for the email connection to protect wireless network use the again sniffing attack. Use HTTPS instead of HTTP to protect username and password. Use switch instead of hub as a switch deliver data to intended recipient only. Use secure file transfer protocol instead of FTP for the secure transfer of file. Use PGP and SMIME, VPN, IPsec, SSL, TLS, secure shell and one-time password. Always encrypt wireless traffic with strong encryption protocol such as WPA and WPA2. Retrieve the MAC directly from NIC instead of the OS. This prevents MAC address spoofing. Use tool to determine if any NIC are running in a promiscuous mode. Use the concept of access control list to allow access to only fixed range of trusted IP address in the network. How to detect sniffing? First, you need to check the device running in promiscuous mode. You need to check which machine are running in the promiscuous mode. Promiscuous mode allow a network device to intercept and read each network packet that arrive in its entry. Number two, run IDS. Run IDS and see if the MAC address of any of machine has changed. IDS can alert administrator about suspicious activity. Number three, run network tool. 
Run network tu such as CAPTCHA Portable Network Analyzer to monitor the network for detecting strain packet Enable you to collect, consolidate, centralized, and analyze traffic data across different network, resource, and technology Sniffer detection technique, ping method and DNS method This example of the ping method and DNS method Sniffer detection technique using ARP method Only the machine in a promiscuous mode Cache ARP information Such as IP and MAC address mapping A machine in the promiscuous mode responds to the ping message As it has correct information about the host sending the pen request in its cache The rest of the machine will send an ARP probe to identify the source of the ping request This example for the ARP method This example for Mimiscus Detection Tool, we have NMAT and NETSCAN Tool Pro. In this module, we have discussed the following sniffing concept along with protocol vulnerable to sni the sniffing and various hardware protocol analyzer. Various sniffing techniques such as MAC at attack, DHCP attack, ARP poisoning, spoofing attack, DNS poisoning, along with their countermeasure, various sniffing tools. Various countermeasures that are to be employed in order to prevent sniffing attack. The other module conclude with a detailed discussion of various sniffing detection techniques. In the next module, we will discuss in detail how attacker as well as ethical hacker and pen tester perform social engineering to steal critical information related to the target organization.